you're going to stitch along that half inch seam allowance and skip over the opening that's marked between the notches. So back stitch there, back stitch at the notch, skip over. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this down and you're going to match up the bottom and you're going to allow this to sort of fold over and you can you can press this too so you make sure that it's nice and smooth and flat and basically what's going to happen is this is going to be the, the inside we're going to turn this but this is going to be the inside of the pocket and that's going to be the outside so we're going to sew this around the whole perimeter so we're sealing everything off and we left this open so that we can actually turn this the correct side out so that it, it will create the patch. So it's important to make sure you seal everything off and don't panic that you can't get it inside there. So um, we're going to uh, back stitch here, half inch seam allowance the whole way. And um, when you're doing the corner, half inch, remember what you do on the corner, you go down to one, do a diagonal stitch, one little diagonal stitch, and then back up to one. And then for the rest of this one, you can just kind of sew around the curve. And when you go around curves, make sure, you know, if you get stuck and you're kind of uh, going a little off it, go ahead and just stop, put the needle down, lift the foot up, and just guide that fabric around, keeping the, um, the foot even with the edge all the way to the end there. Um, you're going to trim away any corners like we do. Uh, and then clip away any curves. You can trim this too if you want. I'm just gonna leave it at this right now, but if you wanted to, you can trim that down to a quarter of an inch. Trim this corner like that. And same thing with this corner up here. And then we're gonna use that little opening and we're gonna turn our pocket right side out making sure all those corners come out nice and sharp. And you can use um, like a dull pencil